Welcome to the Democracy for America DFA Dollar Program. We're here to make GOTV calls for progressive champions up and down the ballot. This moment is not just about one campaign or one person. This is about all of us working together to build the reflective democracy for everyone. The DFA Dialogue gives you the opportunity to elect the political revolution by supporting progressive candidates in all 50 states, no matter where you live. My name is Jessica Carter, and I'm the National Organizing Manager with DFA. So let's get started. Here's how to log in. On the right side, you'll see log in to start calling voters with Hub Dollar. If this is the first time you're using the Hub Dollar, please check that box. If you used it before, you can go ahead and just sign in. Now you see some instructions on your screen. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page where you'll see the Let's Get Started button. Review that script and get comfortable with it. We're going to be using this script to talk to voters. These are likely Democratic supporters who are slightly less likely to vote without a, a friendly reminder from you. We want to do a few things with these calls. First, we want to identify who they're supporting and track it accurately. If they're supporting a progressive candidate, undecided or opposing, and then take good notes on their level of support. For supporters, we want to make sure we mark them clearly. Make sure to click on yes, support them, likely support, undecided, not likely to support or not support based on what the voter says. If they aren't explicit, use your own best judgment to indicate where you think they are on the spectrum of support. For opponents, have a friendly, respectful conversation with them. Just thank them for their time and keep moving on to the next call. Finally, take really good notes. So if there's anything else, they need a ride to the polls, they have a policy question you weren't sure how to answer, just take notes so the campaign can follow up. So now let's click Let's get started so you know what to expect. Now you'll see a new page with a phone number and a dialing code. That phone number probably starts with a 646. Once we're done with this training, and not right now because you're here with me, you're going to have to actually call that number on your phone. Once you've dialed that phone number, you hear a woman's automated voice and she's going to say, welcome to Hub Dialer. Then listen on your phone to the number she says aloud because you're gonna to need to type, type that number into the confirmation code space on your computer. Right now you see agent ID on your screen and that is the same number as the confirmation code, so don't be alarmed. That confirmation code you only get by listening to the hub dialer woman on the phone. That's what tells the computer and the phone that you are the person making these calls and that it's sending voters to you. Once you enter your confirmation code and click start calls, we're ready to get started. And the computer is calling voters for you and trying to connect. It can be very quick when you get your first live voter, so be ready to take that first call when you click it. You'll hear music and see please wait on your computer screen and see an orange flower. This music may last only a few seconds or up to a minute. When you're connected to your first person, the whole music will stop, you'll hear a beep, and you'll see the script and the voter's name pop up on your screen. As soon as you hear that beep, the voter has answered the phone and already said hello. So you go right into the script. I'm a volunteer with Democracy for America calling for Jessica. Don't pause when you hear the beep or the voter might think nobody is there and hang up on you. We are calling landlines and cell phones. So some calls won't have the auto dialing function. This means that there won't be whole music um, and so if you reach voicemail, a voicemail, you'll press this is an answering machine, then click make next call. The dialer screens out most answering machines, but if you are connected to one, don't leave a message. Just click this is an answering machine at the top of the page. You will automatically be moved back to the whole queue for your next call. When you talk to voters, Make sure that you record the results of your call. Every piece of data we're collecting now is gearing us up for the most powerful grassroots operation possible on election day. Once the call is complete, say goodbye and wait for the person to hang up. Do not hang up your phone. Make sure all of the information you gathered on the call has been entered correctly and thoroughly. And once the voter has hung up, you can stay on that screen as long as you need to to type in the results of the call before moving on to the next one. When you're ready for the next call, click next call. You will hear whole music and, and wait to talk to the next voter. When you call voters, they won't see your phone number. They'll see the, the campaign's phone number calling them. 
When you don't want to take any more calls or if you just need to take a break during your shift, click this is my last call. Then hang up your phone. If you're just taking a break, you can log back in and start make, taking calls again when you're ready. This is also the number one troubleshooting tip. If you get stuck or run into trouble on the dialer or if you hang up your phone by accident, just log out, log out and log back in to start over. We encourage you to stay on the dialer for at least an hour. These are the most important voters in the country and they are waiting to hear from you. Here are a couple of quick tips before you get started. First, we wanna have fun and smile. Second, it's okay if you don't know the answer to every question. You can say, I don't know the answer to your question, so I'll make a note and we'll get back to you with an answer. Lastly, you can use whatever device you're comfortable with, whether it's a desktop, laptop, or tablet. The main thing you need is a screen to read the script during your calls. If you're having trouble logging in um, or any other issues while you, during your shift, just please email us at organizing at democracyforamerica.com and we'll make sure to connect with you so we can help you uh, through that issue. Again, that email is organizing at democracyforamerica.com. One more thing, we always welcome your leadership. If you're interested in leadership opportunities um, with the dialer or um, connecting with uh, fellow DFA members, just email us um, and, and let's talk. Um, email us at organizing at democracy for America and we'll make sure to get back with you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. And also if you have any questions or if you just wanna connect with the organizing team, uh, just email us at organizing at democracyforamerica.com. Thank you.